Okay, so this video I'm going to show you how to replace the C13 and C14 capacitors on your Pansat 3500 receiver. Before you get started, you should check the receiver to make sure the settings are correct, all cables are connected, uh, the dish is set up properly, and there's nothing blocking the dish. But if you've gone ahead and checked all those and you're still having problems, then you need to check the power supply to see if these capacitors haven't been burnt out. If they have, then you need to follow the video, but if not, there are other ways of knowing uh, if you need to replace these capacitors. Um, people have reported that they get a loss of picture reception and the quality reading constantly jumps anywhere between 0 and 99%, um, or you can have loss of some stations, uh, you get bad or scrambled signal messages on the television, or you get constant pixelation. Um, so again, make sure your settings are correct because these can be caused by other factors. But uh, if you're going to go ahead and replace the capacitors, then you need to get some tools. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a solder, a soldering iron, a desoldering tool to remove the solder, and then you'll need to pick up two uh, capacitors. You can see here they are 470 microfarad, uh, 35 volts, and this is uh, these were bought at Radio Shack. So if you're gonna buy them at Radio Shack, you can use the part number 272 uh, If you're not in the United States, you can easily pick these up online. Okay, so now you want to open the receiver and remove the screws from here, here, and the last one here. So after you've done that, you need to go ahead and move the top. Okay, then you want to loop the cable out and uh, remove the plug here. And you want to remove this plug here. Like that. And then There are screws here and here. So go ahead and unscrew that. See here. And then grab your pliers and pull out the screws. So now once you've done that, you'll see here there's a plastic clip holding it in place and also here. So you want to take your pliers and press on the top to push in on the plastic. And then you can go ahead and lift up. Now again, if they they don't come up, you gotta um, up, press together on the clips again to remove and that's how you remove the power source. Okay, here are the capacitors we're going to work with marked in red, C13 and C14 they are also marked you can see here C14 and C13. And here on the back, in red, these are the points that you'll need to solder. Okay, so now let's go ahead and remove the capacitors. So you want to go ahead and apply the soldering iron to the points and keep removing the solder until you loosen the points and you can go ahead and pull pull them out as they get loose There you go. So 
now you just removed both capacitors. And like I said before, you can't always tell uh, if the capacitors are burnt out or not. But in my case, my capacitor was burnt underneath, so I wasn't able to tell unless I removed it. But you can see here that it uh, started to burn into the main board here. And this one was okay, but this one was burnt. And here you can see how it's burnt underneath. And then on this one here, you know, there was no problems. That's fine. But again, when you when if you decide to do this, uh, you have to replace both at the same time. You can't replace one and then if it burns out, then you replace the the other one later. So remember, you have to replace both at the same time. Okay, now you want to put in the new capacitors that you bought earlier. So go ahead and open those up. And remember, um, you have dashes on the side here. So if you rotate it around, you can see they have dashes. Now you want to align those dashes with the circle here on the outside. So when you put it in, you want to make sure that you can see here that this black line here with the dashes is lined up with the uh, white circle here. So make sure you do that for uh, both of the capacitors. So again, you want to make sure that they are lined up and once you do that you want to go ahead and push down on the pins to keep them in place. Okay now that we have the new capacitors in place let's apply the solder That's one. Now remember to use enough solder to cover the entire um, the entire hole there. And for the last hole, <clears throat> so again, make sure that each hole has been covered properly. And then once they have, then you can go ahead and lift up. Now you can go ahead and clip off the remaining wires. Now try to get it um, cut close to the board as possible. And then if you have any other um, excess wires sticking up, just go ahead and press down. And there you go. 
and here is your finished product. Now just go ahead and put it back into your receiver and plug all the cables back in and you're ready to go.